All right, so in this video, we're going to go over building the ribbon and connecting everything. And depending on time, I might just combine this video with the last one, but we'll see. It will kind of play by ear on this one. So we already have the sticky lips curve setup pretty much done. So if we look at it like the previous video, we see we got the left and right. Seems to be working pretty well here. So at this point, we want to start looking at the ribbon. So I'm just going to turn off the visibility on the geometry for now. So um, you can build your ribbon however you want. It is a nerve surface, so any particular way you want to do it. I always joke that there's five different ways to do everything when it comes to my especially rigging. Um, but the method I use is just duplicating the curve a couple of times and moving them to the position and lofting them. Um, so I'm going to do that here. So I'm going to start with the upper curve. So I duplicated it twice over here and I'm just going to make some small adjustments just to kind of get them split apart. And these values can change depending on, you know, the size of your character and things like that. But I tend to, what worked for me is moving it back about negative 0.2 and scaling this one in about like, oops, 5%. It's also important to center pivot on this guy if you want to scale it correctly. There we go. And in the opposite one, I will move it forward 0.2 and I'll scale it 5%. And again, center pivot. There we go. So now I have these two curves which I can now use to create the lofted surface. So this is loft. I want to make sure it's complete, nerves, cubic. I don't have to worry about section spans. Loft. All right, and there we go. And the reason why I created that extra CV in the previous video is so that we get this edge here, so that it lines up with how the geometry looks. So that those are done. We'll do this for the lower curve. So negative 0.2, and five. And again, remember pivot on these guys. And five, point two. There we go. We'll do a quick loft here. Boom. Okay, so we have our two lofted surfaces now. I'm just gonna create history on these guys. And I'll call this upper lip ribbon and lower lip ribbon. All right, so now that we have our ribbons, now we're gonna add the follicles and the joints on top of it. So we're gonna go under FX, and here, create here. And for this one, we have to remember the specific U count for these because it's gonna go along this direction, which is the U direction on this guy. and the number of CVs um, are, I had, I put 34 in the script in the previous video, but it's actually 35 because of the center CVs and CVs start at zero. Um, but if you take the ends, um, since there's that extra CV there, you take those two out and of course the center one, you're left with 32, which should cover the entire top of it here. And that should get us, yep, looks like it gets us the correct number of hair follicles. You see they're all in the center of each face there, which is exactly what we want. And once we do that, we can delete everything but the follicles. And we'll just call this upper lip follicles. We'll do the same thing for this one. This one is 26. Boom. And we got our lower lip. Perfect. Lower. Maybe it was, uh, looks like it might have been a little bit off there. Just try 28. Yeah, 28. There's the right number. Okay. Excellent. Again, delete everything but the follicles. And we'll call 
follicles, lower lip follicles. All right, now the next phase is we want to get rid of this empty curved node that's underneath the follicles. So I'm just going to select both of these, hit the down arrow for the shape node, and the right arrow to get the curve. You can see them showing up here. I'll just hit delete there. Do the same thing for the uppers. Oops. Down, right, delete. Okay, so now we just have the follicles. So I want to name all of these, um, and we're going to create joints to go underneath these. This is something so repetitive that it makes too much sense to have this script here. So that's what this little guy is for here. So this is just a basic script that renames the follicle and then just adds the joint and moves it into the right spot. So we'll start with the upper lip. Just change this to upper. And run it. There we go. So you can see here, maybe if I increase the size just a little bit on these. There are your joints. So, ooh, just leave it at five. Good. But now you can see we've got a joint for um, every face on this nerve surface. Let's do the same for the lowers. Top, bottom. Make these joints lower. we go. So we now have one joint for each span of the nerve surface. And if I turn on the polygons, you can see they line up with each face here. Um, that's again, this is why we added the extra um, set of CVs here. Um, on the curve so that the nerve surface gets lofted correctly because without it you would if we didn't add those CVs you'd see the the joints not line up with the faces on the polygons all right so now that we have the ribbon and the joints now let's just test it out just to make sure everything works up ah, we forgot one last step we forgot to attach it to the wire curves here. So what I'm going to do is run the wire deformer tool. So we go to rigging, deform, wire. So it says down here, select the shape first, hit enter, then select the wire, which is the upper lip here, and hit enter. So now that curve affects the ribbon We'll do the same for the other surface. I'm just going to go wide. I've reactivated the tool. Enter. Select the curve. Enter. There we go. Now one last thing here is I want to increase the drop-off distance here because um, this just ensures that the ribbon follows the curve a little bit more accurately. Um, if the distance isn't that high, it tends to not stretch out to meet the wire as well. So on both of these, I'm just going to turn the drop-off distance to 10. All right, so now, polygons again. So now if I run this, now you see the ribbon is following correctly. And if I run the sticky lips here, you see now the ribbon and the joints follow as well. We're getting exactly what we want. Now, you can see here on the very edges here, we're getting some twisting, um, which is just pretty common because the corners are a little bit of a tricky area. Um, it, this is more so on the lower side, uh, the uh, lower lip. Now, you, the wire deformer has this rotation very, uh, attribute here, which can kind of control the rotations so it's not twisting as much. It, as you can see, it really doesn't affect too much down here, but it helps with the rotation of the nerve surfaces here. You don't really need it for the upper one, but if for the lower one, it can definitely help, or you can, you know, kind of go some in between, but I tend to just turn it off. Um, so if 
There we go. So now it's following pretty accurately. And at this point, then you'd start to bring these into the bind on your main mesh, and you'd start adding weights for it. I am obviously not going to do that in this video, just because it is that would take too long and unnecessary, because at this point you should know how to paint weights. So I'm just going to end this video here, and then we'll move on to building the dynamic setup after once this is all bound and ready to go.